Hey Super Snake, you know how they say today was a good day? Today is a good day because we're at Longview School in Phoenix. It's gonna be good. Let's see, uh, the Cardinals win and Larry Fitzgerald is here to give a big check. You gotta check this out today. opportunities to give back here in the local Phoenix community. And as a corporate citizen, our priorities for giving are programs that help children and also enable education. And so we turned again to our partnership with Larry and we saw this as a natural fit. Um, as you know, we um, had a campaign that we started. It was called 4G, it's Fits Fast. Um, for every 4G smartphone that AT&T sold between October 24th and November 20th, we pledged that we would donate $5 to the First Down Fund um, with a goal of um, raising $20,000. And I'm very pleased to tell you that we did raise $20,000. So. so Larry, on behalf of AT&T and all of our AT&T customers who participated in this program, we're pleased to present $20,000 to you and your First Down Fund. Well, thank you so very much. My little brother that uh, he now lives in Cleveland, uh, he lives in California now, but he moved back to Cleveland a few years ago. But when I first got with DJ, he was a very quiet, introverted young guy. Um, you know, he didn't really have much to say, but as I got to know him and got to be around him, spend more time, go to basketball games and football games, go to the park, um, just doing a lot of things, um, a lot of activities, started to become really open. And uh, he started asking me, he said, Larry, do you think I should play sports? He said, well, DJ, that's something that you, that you want to do and you feel like that's something that you um, think would be better for you and you continue to do well in the classroom, I think that would be great for you. And, and now he's, uh, he's lettered now three years in a row. Uh, he's, he's a captain of his varsity football team. He's going to continue his education in college after this year. So, um, you know, I, I'm really proud of him and, 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 I, and I feel like, uh, you know, he's needed a little pushing in the right direction and, and uh, we were able to do that to be brothers and big sisters. So, I, mean, I appreciate the opportunity. And uh, I want to donate this check to you. Um, Twenty thousand dollars from the Fitzgerald and also AT and T uh, and congratulations. Thank you so much. Start. I don't want to say that, man. But you want to? Okay. Start. You gotta get twenty thousand dollars. You sold a lot of phones, man. That's crazy. No, I, you know it's a product because AT and T sells itself. So. Oh, good sales machine. Yeah, you know, you know, so. you know uh, re, what is it? Number, Rethink uh, fast. You know, no. hmm, you got yours. I got mine. Absolutely. Upgrade. 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 Yeah, you upgrade. upgrade. You still can't text <laughs> messages. That's a problem. <laughs> He didn't get the memo. They said it was uh, <laughs> the dress attire today was was, was dressed supposed to be shirt and tie. But no, no. He felt that he just wanted to just go with the no, God, the here you get, hat no, man. the black mama but, shirt. But, but that's cool though. It's, it's cool. Though. See, it's cool. You that's cool. That's cool. You looking like, like Winnie the Cuckoo with your, with your outfit on? You said me. <laughs> no, seriously, man. Amazing job with AT and T and getting twenty thousand dollars. Oh, uh, well, AT and T is on terrific job in our community for longer than I've been a part of it. Um, they've always been doing good work in our in our community. But um, they donated after the smartphone sales twenty thousand dollars. I donated to Big Brother and Sisters, the program I've been a part of since two thousand and six. And um, I've had a brother, um, you know, who's moved to California now. And this is his maturity, the way he blossomed and really opened up. Um, he's an honor roll student now, and captain of the football team, and going to college next year. So I mean, those are the kind of things you want to you want to see in our, in our youth and our community. Why do you get involved in this outside of football? I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you really don't have to do this, but you do this, and what a lot of people don't know, you don't put money in it. You put a lot of time 
you've been doing things that folks don't really know about. Why? What, 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 what's the reason? Well, I'm not the only one. You know, I mean, there's a lot of athletes. Steve Nash and Grant Hill and Darnell Dockett and um, Calais Campbell and a lot of guys. They get out and do, do good works in the community. I think that's something that you have to do as an athlete. You're, you're so um, visible and people can see you and they, they want to know that you're doing right in the community and the community matters to you. And I saw that when I was a youngster, seeing Kevin Garnett and Chris Carter and Curry Puffy, guys like that, always coming back and giving, giving their time in the community. Something I always thought was valuable. Nice job, man. Now if we can nice just work day. on your wardrobe. Uh, you know, stay <laughs> calm, man. You always be on me, man. <laughs> Great job, man. Hey, give my man a new deal. He deserves it. <laughs> Christmas bonus, baby. <laughs>